Mode of Nutrition in Plants Plants are the only organisms which can prepare their own food from the raw materials present in their surroundings. They require water, carbon dioxide, sunlight and minerals for the preparation of their food. Plants use a part of this food for their own nutrition and growth. Nutrition is the mode of taking food by an organism and its utilization by the body. The nutrients are required by the living organisms for building their body, for growth, for repair and for providing energy to carry out the activities of the life processes. Plants get their nutrition in different ways. Plants can broadly be classified into autotrophs and heterotrophs. Plants that make their own food are called autotrophs. This mode of nutrition is known as autotrophic. Autos means self. Trophene means to nourish. Autotrophs synthesize food by converting simple chemical substances like water and carbon dioxide into glucose. This glucose is further converted into many complex substances with the help of minerals. There are two types of autotrophs. 1. Photoautotrophs, which derive the energy for making food from sunlight. All green plants are photoautotrophs. They make glucose in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight. 2. Chemoautotrophs, use chemical energy to make their food. For example, the bacteria that convert nitrogen from air into nitrates which are absorbed by the plants. Photosynthesis, food making process in plants. Green plants are the producers. Which part of a plant is green? Usually the leaves. For this reason, leaves are called food factories of a plant. However, other parts of a plant too play a role in its nutrition. Photosynthesis takes place in leaves in following steps. The word photosynthesis is derived from two words. Photo means light and synthesis means to combine. There are tiny pores present mostly on the underside of leaves. These are called stomata, singular stoma. Each stoma is surrounded by two guard cells. Leaves absorb carbon dioxide from air through stomata. The roots absorb water and minerals from the soil. The water, minerals and nutrients absorbed by the roots get transported to the leaves by the pipes or tubes which run through the entire plant forming a vessel system. Chlorophyll is the green pigment present in plants. Chlorophyll captures energy from sunlight and uses it to prepare food from carbon dioxide and water. The process of collection of simple substances such as water and minerals from the soil and carbon dioxide from the air utilizing sunlight as a source of energy and conversion of these simple substances into complex food is known as photosynthesis. The word photosynthesis is derived from two words. Photo means light and synthesis means to combine. During the process of photosynthesis, light energy is converted into chemical energy. The plants absorb energy from the sun and use it to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen. Glucose stores the chemical energy which is used by the cells by respiration. Glucose is converted into other complex substances that get stored in the plant. The following equation summarizes photosynthesis. 6 CO2 plus 6 H2O gives C6H12O6. Sugar plus 6O2. The byproducts of photosynthesis are oxygen and water, which are released through the stomata during daytime. The food is sent to the other parts of the plant through the veins. Without photosynthesis, life would be impossible on earth. We cannot imagine survival of any living organism in the absence of plants, as they not only provide food, but also oxygen, which is necessary for respiration. Parasites Some plants, such as the cascuta, snatch food from other plants by climbing onto them. The plants on which they climb are called hosts. Since they deprive the host plant of valuable nutrients, they are called parasites. 
Insectivores. The insectivorous mode of nutrition is seen in plants such as the pitcher plant and the Venus flytrap. Due to lack of nutrients such as nitrogen and other minerals in the soil, the leaves of these plants are modified to form a trap with hairy balls that can capture insects. Once an insect enters the trap, the lid of the trap closes and the prey gets entangled in the hair. The plant then digests its prey to obtain the required nutrients. These insect-eating plants are known as insectivorous plants. Saprotrophs Some plants obtain their nutrition from decaying organic matter. They secrete digestive juices onto dead and decaying matter and then absorb the nutrients from it. This mode of nutrition is known as saprotrophic nutrition. Plants that use the saprotrophic mode of nutrition are called saprotrophs. Saprotrophs are decomposers and obtain energy for their own use by breaking down complex organic matter from the dead bodies of other organisms. Symbiosis There are some organisms which live together and share shelter and nutrients. This is known as symbiotic relationship. Symbiotic relationship may be defined as the habitual living together of organisms belonging to different species. Symbiosis is a mode of heterotrophic nutrition. It is an interaction or interrelationship between two organisms for mutual benefit or dependence. Lichen is an example of symbiotic nutrition. It is an association between algae and fungi. Algae are autotrophic and can manufacture food for fungi while fungi provide shelter, water and minerals to algae. Another example of symbiotic relationship exists between leguminous plants and the nitrogen-fixing bacteria. The rhizobium bacteria in this relationship convert the atmospheric nitrogen present in the surrounding environment into soluble compounds of nitrogen to fulfill the basic requirements of a plant and also help the soil to get its nutrients replenished. This saves the farmers from using fertilizers or any other process to provide the fertility to the soil. Rhizobium bacteria form a symbiotic relationship with plants such as gram, peas, mung beans and other legumes. They are found in root nodules of these plants.